So if you violate antitrust laws, there's six ways that, uh, that the government can sort of punish you. Uh, the first is what's called a forfeiture, which means you have to give up something. Usually it means the earnings you made through your anti-competitive behavior. That's what a forfeiture would be, usually cash, but sometimes other things. Second is an injunction. I mentioned that before, uh, which means that we have to cease uh, some sort of activity or start some sort of activity. The third is what's called a cease and desist order, which sounds like an injunction, but an injunction is ordered by a court where the court tells you to cease doing something. Whereas a cease and desist order usually comes straight from the Federal Trade Commission. They, in essence, just send you a letter saying, stop doing this, and your choice is to either stop doing it or to face them in their administrative law court. Um, uh, the fourth is what's called a consent decree. Usually a consent decree, decree is where attorneys for the individual who's being accused of anti-competitive behavior uh, will get together with attorneys from the Federal Trade Commission. They'll agree upon a course of action to uh, alleviate uh, the consent decree, I mean alleviate the anti-competitive behavior and they'll both agree to it. So think of it kind of as an injunction uh, or a cease and desist order, but one that's not so rigid that that uh, maybe the, the party who's being accused doesn't have some input. Uh, but in essence, the people who go through it don't feel like they're getting input. They feel like they're being told what they have to do and they agree to it rather than going to court. Uh, if you do go to court, the court can award damages, meaning you have to pay money to the people who are harmed by your anti-competitive behavior. And this law, um, the, these, this series of laws, allows for what's called treble damages, meaning you can be forced to pay up to three times the amount that you actually uh, harm somebody for. And then the most extreme would be divestiture, which is almost like the death penalty for businesses. Divestiture means tearing the business apart into smaller pieces. Uh, so as to create, to get rid of the monopoly. Uh, none of you would be old enough to remember it, but uh, they, when the AT&T had grown so big that um, they were ordered to divest, and then a whole bunch of smaller companies were created, all of these regional Southern Bell, Western Bell um, telephone companies uh, were created to, uh, to divest AT&T and, and create more competition in the market.